Hi everyone, welcome to Frankie Finds. So I've got another unboxing for you today and it is the Degusta Box Cold Box October 2022 edition. It is a limited edition item and it was about £13.99 off the top of my head. They've got another one of these coming out in March. The difference between this one and just the normal Degusta Box that you get monthly is that it's full of fridge items. That's why it's called the cold box. So it's not um, like food cupboard essentials. It's stuff that has to go immediately in the fridge when it gets delivered. That is one slight downside is if it gets delivered on a day that you're not in, obviously they might put it in like an outbuilding or something. Obviously the products aren't going to remain fridge cold. So I would try and see if you can be at home on that day. But it's one of those. If you work in the office every day, you can't, can you? But anyway, I'll begin by showing you the box and everything. So here it is. Very big box again. So there's a couple of different leaflets and again the product card that tells you everything that's in there. The first item is this one. And it's the Rana Fresh Tortellini. And it says terrific in two minutes. And it's Prosciutto, Cotto and Mozzarella. And it is a 250 gram bag. That looks quite nice. I uh, probably said Prosciutto wrong or Prosciutto. I can't remember. And the price for this one is £2.75. And it says that this one is the product of the month. It says, what makes Rana special? Great pasta is about texture as much, as much as taste. So when it comes to our fillings, we take the freshest, most vibrant ingredients and always chop, never blitz. That way, each tortelloni is an explosion of flavours. There is a recipe card that comes with this as well. And I think it's just to tell you, how, if you like the product, how to make it yourself as well, which I think is quite good. Yeah. Oh, what it actually is, is to use that tortellini and then make it with crispy bacon so you can use some other products with it. And I think that's what it should look like once you've actually made the finished product. Next item, which I've got to say, I have after having already looked inside the box, this is my favourite product. It's the Jolly Hog Pigs in Blankets. Look at them, they're so cute. So there is 10 pigs in blankets, which is quite good. They're gluten free. It's 210 grams. And it says 10 British pork cocktail sausages wrapped in treacle cured bacon. And the price for that product is £3.60. So a bit on the pricey side, but definitely a nice treat to have. The Jolly Hog, I think that's good. It says our story. Once upon a time, there were three Jolly Brothers, a rugby player, a ship broker and a cabinet maker. The three brothers loved eating meat, especially pork. They decided to create their own porky delights, which one day would become the best and most delicious in the whole land. So, yeah, that's got to be my favourite item out of it all. Next item is a nice yoghurt with the like oats and some dried fruit on the top. It's nomadic yogurt and oat cluster, uh, customers, <laughs> clusters, and it's strawberry. Uh, with this, I don't think I would like all this bit at the top. I might like the, the actual yogurt, but not all this at the top. I'm not too sure, to be honest. It's 169 grams. And the price for this one is £1.50. So... The, it, it does come with a spoon inside at the top as well. You probably won't be able to see it. But yeah, it does come with a spoon, which I think is quite handy to have on the go. I might try it. I don't, but the only thing with these is I'm sick of trying stuff and not liking it and it just gets wasted. 
um, but I suppose the whole idea of the box is to try new things so I'm in two minds to be honest next item is broken actually well it's not broke but it was open here so this is gonna have to be binned so I might get in touch with them about that actually it's the vegetable butcher and it's like a vegan um, alternative piece of chicken That's what it looks like. It doesn't smell very nice, but I don't know whether that's because it's open or whether it's just because it's a vegan product. I'm not sure, you know, with it being vegan chicken. But yeah, that's probably going to have to be binned with it being open. Uh, but I might contact them about that. They might give me some money back or something. Did I tell you how much that product was worth? I didn't. That one is three pound. So it is quite on the pricey side again. These, I'm not entirely sure. I think they're crab sticks. The Serimi Royale Chunks. Yeah, they look like crab sticks to me. Again, oh, again, look at that. That's, I've only just noticed that it's open. I'm going to have to contact them about that. I hope they don't say draws to send replacements. But yeah, look, it's actually open. Very fishy. So that is going to have to be binned as well. So that's disappointing. But to be honest with you, I wouldn't have eaten that anyway. Uh, these retail at £1.60. And they're available at Ocado and Waitrose. But a shame again that they're open. I hope my hands don't smell all fishy now. Next item I'm pretty pleased about getting. It's the Tropicana. And it is the Sensations Passion Fruit Punch. It's a new product. It's 850 mil. I'm looking forward to trying that one, although my partner has already said he wants to take it to work. Um, this one was £2.75. That's what it retails at, apparently, but that's quite pricey. Yeah, looking forward to trying that one. Next item is going to be a re-gift to my mum because she absolutely loves the stuff. It's Holy Moly Tzatziki, and it is, I did see it before, yeah, it's a vegan product. So, suitable for vegans, vegetarians, which I think is pretty good. Um, packaging, it is, can't see it now, 155 grams, and that one is worth £2.20, so again on the pricey side. But my mum loves tzatziki, so I'm going to give that to her. With this one, I'm not entirely sure. I know it's obviously a cheese product, but I'm not sure what it's like. Is it like a camembert? If you know, you'll have to let me know. It's a Caprice de Deus. I've probably said that completely wrong. Un amour de fromage. It's 200 grams and it retails at £2.50. And it says, literally translating to the whim of the gods, is a heavenly, mild and creamy, soft, ripened cheese in a unique oval shape. Our recipe, French milk, cream and a pinch of salt. And that's it. Try it on a cracker, on a cheese board or as a snack. Again, not really something for me. So what I've decided, I said to my partner, um, I might take the box into work tomorrow in the office and just ask people if anybody wants any of it. Because, well, obviously, I'll take out the stuff that I do fancy, but... most Mostly way through the products now, and I have to say, I was a little disappointed with it. I don't know if I'd order the cold box again. One of the, the reasons I'm not happy with it is there's a lot of vegan and vegetarian products, and... I'm a meat eater, so it would have been nice. I think I'm just struggling to say it, but I think they should have an option where they can where you can click if you're a vegan or vegetarian, and if you can click that you're a meat eater, because it's like they're trying to cater for the vegans and the vegetarians more than the actual meat eaters to me. Um, I might get a lot of flack in the comments for saying that, but not everybody is vegan and not everybody's vegetarian. Um. I mean, I know it's nice to try new things, but if I'm not ve vegan, why would I want to try a vegan piece of chicken? Um, so, yeah, I think it would be nice if they did two options, whether they could ask you, are you vegan, are you vegetarian, 
are you a meat eater but i suppose the logistics is that is it's just more work on their side but it's just an idea the next item again not real keen on it's higgedy family kitchen and it's a spinach and pine nut pie with greek feta and red peppers 270 grams but again not real something for me to be honest what does this one retail at uh, £4.30, so that is a very pricey product. It is available at Sainsbury's, Tesco, Waitrose, Ocado and Booth's. And it says, Vibrantly veggie, this spinach and pine nut pie is carefully crafted with seeded spelt short crust pastry packed with a creamy filling of spinach and Greek feta and is hand-topped with red peppers. Even more feta and toasted pine nuts. Higgity baked generously. So, yeah, not really one for me, unfortunately. Now, this one definitely isn't for me. Um, but I think it was a nice idea and I think it's just a bit funny. They gave me some caviar. It's Lump Fish Caviar and it's Elsie Knoll brand. It is, sizing-wise, is 50 grams. Yeah. I don't think that would be very popular with many people, to be honest. So I'm not really sure why they've put that in there. Uh, this one retails at £2.30 and is available at Waitrose, Ocado and Amazon. That one. Yeah. Second to last item. It's the Simple Root and it's a truffle and cheese style sauce. It's 400 grams and it's a vegan, so it's like a fake cheese sauce, basically. Um, I think they've put that in there to go with the Rana, because I think that would make a good combination. Um, but again, I don't know if I would really want that. So uh, I'm probably going to put that in the workbox to try to see if um, anybody else wants it, because I have got a couple of um, vegan colleagues. Uh, they might want it, so I will definitely ask the question. And the last item I am pleased with. I'm looking forward to trying it. Again, though, it is a vegan product. It's the Shaken Other Dairy-Free Strawberry Shake. And it's vegan friendly and it's made with coconut milk. So it's 330 mils. Um, I am looking forward to trying that because I do like my shakes. This one retails at pound ninety five. Again, though, vegan alternative. Uh, so I'll give it a go, though, because it might taste exactly the same. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's a lot. It's like it's geared a lot towards vegan and vegetarian. I, mean, I know there was pigs in blankets. Um, yeah, not best pleased for me. Let me know what you think in the comments, whether you've bought it or whether you're thinking about buying it. Um, like I said, there is a box coming out in March as well, but after seeing the products in this one, I'm not too sure whether I'll do that one. Um, I might do, see it, see how I feel. Um, but yeah, out of the, the three boxes I've ordered, I've ordered two normal monthly ones and this one, which is a limited edition, and this one is the worst for me. Um, so yeah, a bit disappointed. But anyway, if you want to see more videos like this, Give us a like and subscribe and please let me know what you think in the comments as well. Thank you very much for watching.